Today we're working with Bash and looking at its histories option. Now, as you probably know, when you're writing stuff in the shells, issuing commands, they're being saved to a file, which you can then scroll through. Uh, so I can hit the up arrow here a couple times and go through different uh, commands that I previously typed. I can hit Control R and search for one, like so. Uh, and I can also type in history, and it gives me a full list of the history uh, with numbers, because you can jump to uh, particular commands and history based on what number they are. Uh, but we're going to be looking at disabling uh, the history temporarily in your session. So let's say you're about to run some commands. Maybe it's a command that's going to have a password in it, and you don't want it saved to your history. Uh, well, we can disable that. So just to show you, I'm going to say echo 1 and echo 2. So now I can scroll up, and you can see those are my last two commands using the up and down arrow keys. And now I can also say set plus O. That's a lowercase o. History. Now, if I say echo three and echo four, and I hit up arrow, you'll notice that those last two commands are not stored in there. And I can echo, this is a test. And when I hit up arrow, you'll notice that's not there. The last command in the history is disabling history. And then two, and that's just for this session. If I was to exit out of this and start a new session, let's actually let's open up a new session here. We'll say bash, and I'll say echo five, echo six. I can hit up arrow, and those are there. Um, so, going back up here, uh, if I wanted to re-enable history, I just say set mi minus or dash lowercase o history, and now if I echo 7, echo 8, you can see that those are now in my history. Now again, I'm working in the bash shell here. My default shell on my machine is usually Z shell. And I have tried this command in Z shell, and Z shell does not have this option, at least not like this. I've tried Googling it, and I have found some options that don't quite work like this. Um, if you're aware of one for Z shell, I didn't look that hard. I'm sure I could find it. Um, but if you're aware of a shell script uh, or a command for the Z shell uh, that is similar to this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I do thank you for watching. Again, I hope you find this useful. Again, if you're there's sometimes maybe you're pulling a wget command and you need to put a username and password in there or using curl or something, you can run this command first and then after you issue it, you can re-enable your history and you know that it isn't stored in that history there. That's easier than going in and deleting it from your history file, which is in your home directory. Uh, so I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description there. You can support me in the support section using PayPal or through my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.